new version of Avid Media Composer is in the can and ready for upload. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Krulik, Video Product Evangelist for Avid, and today I'm going to show you the new features in Avid Media Composer 2021.3. Every editor has their own preferences on how they like to work and, and how they design their layout and UI, all set to their specific user settings. And a frequent user request is a way to help prevent eye strain, which can be set to your UI. This is the addition of a new mid-gray skin. This really helps when you're staring at computer screens for long periods of time. We've also added more highlight colors when selecting clips and items within your bins. These highlight colors are also participating in a previous new feature that lets you dial up or down the brightness of your highlights. With every new release of Avid Media Composer, we work closely with editors to find the best ways to enhance the craft of editing and to try and eliminate any extra clicks and movement when it may not be necessary. Now, how many times have you wondered, what are the contents of my bin? Or more specifically, what types of items or assets do I have in my bin? Now, the new bin status bar provides easy access to this information. At the bottom of each bin, you can choose to show or hide these details. And hovering over the results will provide even more detail on how many master clips, subclips, or sequences are included in your bin. And this is even if you're choosing the sorting options. How many clicks does it take to find a clip in your bin? One? Two? It's actually just a right click away. That's right, point on any clip in your timeline, right click, and select Find Bin. And it points to the clip in the bin. And it'll even open up a bin if the bin is not opened already. No selection mode required at all. Buh bye match frame. Well, at least we give you another option. Adding sync locks to all tracks is now a button that can be mapped to a single key. So if your timeline is rather large, you will not have to navigate to the timecode track to enable sync locks on all of your tracks. And how many times have you moved a clip in your sequence with the up and down arrow keys or side to side, only to have it wipe out part of your clips in your timeline? This now non-destructive behavior will not take away anything in your sequence as you're moving it. And that's for a short period of time, so within five seconds of movement. Once that five seconds is up, the commitment is made. And this also works if you're moving using trim keys or nudging your edits, potentially demolishing your masterpiece. Another nice little added treat is that you can now choose to display the group clip name in your timeline clip text. This is great, so editors can now see the name of the group clip used in the edit along with the name of the clip from the group. The new Avid Titler Plus continues to get enhancements with every new release. You can still create a single line title easily by clicking and typing, but if you click and drag a bounding box, the text that you enter will now be word wrapped within the box that you've created. That's right, you'll see control points that will let you change the size of your box and your titles will wrap according to the bounding box size that you've created. You can also copy and paste text from a document or file. And if you'd rather have the text resize with the size of the bounding box, simply hold down command or control and change the size at the control point, and the text will resize with it. And notice by moving your cursor away from the corner points just a little bit, you'll get a rotation icon. So you can now rotate the text freely, or hold down the shift key, and you'll get an incremental rotation. And we've saved the best for last. Let's take a close look at the new IMF window to create IMF, or Interoperable Mastering Format packages, for OTT-destined content. An IMF package contains all of the essence, that's your audio and video, and the metadata associated with a piece of content. We've redesigned the process of creating IMF packages within Media Composer through this new interface, where you can drag and drop a sequence to the left sidebar and select if you are creating an IMF original, or an IMF supplemental. The addition of supplemental IMF packages lets you provide the assets created from any edit or audio fixes or changes that may have happened from one sequence to the next. And it's only going to create the new media 
to your IMF package. You can also stack your sequences inside of a packing list or IMP in the sidebar or assign it to a CPL, which is a composition playlist. Based on the SMPTE specification and those of other streaming service providers, you set the metadata and structural parameters, such as your compression profile, raster size, telemetry, and bit depth, as well as audio grouping assignments. Where you can specify regional metadata before burning your IMF package. This feature is so current, it lets you choose the multi language audio metadata for Klingon. May your IMF package live long and prosper. The status of your IMF elements are indicated by a series of colors. Green represents the package is complete and exists on disk. Yellow shows that all metadata fields are populated and ready to be burned, and red would indicate there are required fields that still may need to be completed before your package can be written. Once everything is set and the export button is active, you are ready to burn it. Your resulting package will contain your flattened video file and individual audio files designated by your audio mapping, as well as the matching XML, CPL, and packing list wrapping the IMF package all together. Another great feature is you can even drag and drop your CPLs from the IMF window to a Media Composer bin to import an IMF package to a project. And exposing the referenced media shows you the video and audio media files that were created from the IMF burn. As you can see, we've added some great new enhancements and tools in the 2021.3 release of Avid Media Composer. Fewer clicks, more customization, and more powerful delivery options. To learn more, go to our website at avid.com slash mediacomposer. Thank you for your talent and support. Stay safe, be well, and have a fantastic day.